Okay, so we're gonna jump straight into it. If you follow me on social media, or if you follow the Shade Room teens, you know what's going on. So I'm basically about to clear up the whole situation and provide proof. The whole reason why it started in the first place, like the whole reason I started posting the screenshots, the whole reason I started posting all that proof was because like if you go on his twitter and you look at his twitter he was saying stuff like oh people delusional it was something like that towards me if you go on his twitter he was throwing shade like i wouldn't have said nothing else after that but he was on twitter he was throwing shade so that's when i had made my post and then that's when i started posting the screenshots that's how that whole situation happened like it wasn't just me i wasn't just picking at the situation i wasn't nitpicking no it was both parties if you go and look at his stuff he was nitpicking the situation that's why i posted second point is this is not fake tea like why would i make up some dms and some messages like this is all real why you think they haven't said like why do you think he hasn't said anything this is all real like i have no reason to lie i have no reason to lie on nobody I have no reason to make nothing up this is all proof my third point why do y'all keep trying to call me a side chick like y'all saw in the messages that he said he was single and even when you look at the messages and read over the messages he's double texting i'm not texting back like even when i do text back it's not even on that it's dry like let's just be honest like if i wanted him i would have had him like and y'all can obviously see that in the messages like so side chick that needs to be daddy because i don't mess with nobody in a relationship i don't i don't i don't play that i don't do that so that's not even me so like, everybody keep trying to say i'm mad or like all this different stuff like why why would i be mad like are we reading the same messages like are we looking at the same information i have no reason to be mad like it doesn't make no sense my next point the biggest point y'all keep trying to call me a cloud chaser and say i'm all this and i'm all that first first of all if i was a cloud chaser i'm gonna go get me a rapper or i'm gonna get me an athlete like what what am i like what what am i gonna do with that all like that cloud chasing stuff y'all need to daddy i had clout before this whole situation like i've been had clout like if you look at all the stuff i did over the years i've been had clout so i don't even know why i keep trying to say oh she's clout chasing like if i was clout chasing i would have went after somebody bigger i will say when all the Stuff took place he started making them remarks on twitter and all that other stuff and i just got to posting because i was just thinking about like you didn't tell me this like what if i would have actually messed with you then i would have been looking like a messed up person so i was just like at that point i was just like oh no he needs to be out it and i kind of felt like i wasn't the only girl so that's the way i went about it that's why i went about it the way i did because i just knew it was other people out there now i can say i didn't think about the other female in the situation so if i hurt her feelings or if I hurt that situation, I am genuinely sorry. That's not what I meant to do. I probably should have went about it a different way. But at that moment in time, I wasn't I wasn't thinking like that. Like, I was just like, okay, he a cheater. Like, he needs to get out of it. Like, he's a liar. And speaking on the subject of other girls, I knew that was going to happen. Because I knew it's been like this since we was younger. I know I wasn't the only girl. And right after that whole situation happened and I got to post it, all these other girls started flooding my DMs with proof, FaceTime, Snapchats, messages, DMs. Like, I definitely wasn't the only one. Like, it's multiple. It's a lot of different girls. Like, and I knew that. So, the point that I would like to make is that in this generation, everybody needs to stop putting the blame on the female and put it on the male. He was in the wrong. I didn't do nothing wrong. He was in the wrong. The only thing I did probably do wrong was the way I outed it. He was definitely in the wrong. Y'all should be in his comments going nuts. But no, you guys are in mine. You guys are blaming the other female who just wanted to get the proof out there. Who just wanted to put the truth out there. Y'all are blaming the other female and not blaming him. And before I wrap this up, I would like to say it wasn't harmful intent what I did. My intentions were good. I probably could have went about it a different way. But... I didn't have any ill intentions. I didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings or do none of that. I wanted to put him on blast because he deserves to be put on blast because he's a liar. And that's just that. Like, 